What was that? <laughs> what was that? Huh? You trying to get one over on me? <laughs> <laughs> one, Even. two, three. Wow! <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. I guess I'm not as young as I once was. <laughs> only 21 now. Do you think you do? <laughs> You're only 21. Do you think you feel like the effects of aging at 27? Uh, in some ways, where like my body doesn't like deal with things as readily as it used to. Yeah. You know, I don't see changes like as easily as I used to. But I, I know hormones, specifically for guys, affect a lot, a lot of things in life. Uh, I know your testosterone kind of takes a dip, uh, especially as you grow older into your 30s and stuff. It can affect weight gain, it can affect uh, your uh, mood, personality, libido, yeah. and also hair growth, both like on top of your head and elsewhere in your body. Yeah. So it has a lot of effects on you. And emotions. I don't know. I mean, I'm younger than you. I'm only 25 and I definitely feel, <laughs> I definitely feel the effects of AG. 100%. I think when I was like 20, 21, I thought that, you know, I could eat whatever the hell I wanted. I think I even made a video one time where I said I lived off of like gummy bears and Dr. Pepper. And now that was a bad idea because I'm older. Clearly, my, I, I do think there's something wrong with my hormones. I think my hormones are probably a little bit out of whack because it's, it's a lot harder to lose weight. And I'm trying, I'm on the schedule, I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. And I'm building muscle, but it's the fat loss. I'm, I'm having a lot of trouble with the fat loss. Diet, exercise, sleep, like all of that's really, really good for hormone health. I lack on the sleep. Diet is pretty fair. Now it is. Now it is, now it is. Because we've gotten onto more of a routine with cooking and all that. But exercise, I think that's where I'm, I'm really good because I consistently exercising six, seven days a week. But even still with all of that, so with all of the life changes we've had to make and that I've personally been making, I feel like I'm still, my hormones are still out of whack because it, like I said, the fat loss, but also I'm super fatigued all the time. I'm so tired. Uh, and I'm 25, I should not be this tired, I feel like. So it's something, something is wrong. Something's a little bit out of whack. But your libido has been up a bit. <laughs> Talking about my libido. Libido. <laughs> and I think my, my testosterone is probably lower than it was. Like, obviously as you age, testosterone's gonna go down because when you're like, what, now, when does testosterone go to? It's 25. Actually, 25 is your peak, so you should be yeah. at your peak. <laughs> I should be at my peak, but I feel like it's decreased a little bit. Um, well, everybody's different. Yeah, and I think I think one of the, the biggest life changes that I'm trying to make, I'm trying very hard, is um, I, consuming less alcohol. I, you know, we're big drinkers, and I want to eventually get to the point where I'm not drinking anymore, um, and what? maybe just I, I don't want to drink anymore. Not even for like special occasions. Like I mean, special occasions, yes. Like special occasions, yes. Like I'm not going to go completely sober, but I mean, like weekly, we drink weekly. Yes, but that, we, that have, we have much better at doing it during the weekend. Well, since we're talking about hormone health, I think it is a perfect time to mention that this video is kindly being sponsored by Let's Get Checked. Let's Get Checked offers professional testing from the comfort of your own home. They have a variety of different tests, such as STD testing, testosterone testing, cholesterol, fertility. So when Let's Get Checked reached out and offered to partner up with us, they sent me and Alistair two uh, advanced male hormone tests. Let's get checked the laboratories are CLIA approved and CAP accredited. And these are like the highest ranking levels of accreditation. It's never been this simple to get tested for whatever it is you're wanting to get tested for, you know, no more uncomfortable doctor's office visits. You go online, you order your test, you take it, you send it back, get your results, and you get a consultation with a medical professional. So Let's Get Checked offers four different male hormone tests. The male hormone advanced test is the most comprehensive one they have. It tracks five biomarkers, including free testosterone, sex hormone binding globulin, free androgen, free androgen, and <laughs> I'm so bad at saying all these names, free androgen index. 
estradiol and prolactin. Do you know how long it took me to go through all these names and <laughs> pronounce them right? Now, I don't know all that much about male hormones and testosterone and all that. I know more about testosterone than anything else, but like <laughs> prolactin, I have never heard of that before. And so going through and taking this test, I'm also learning more about the male hormones and what each of them does and how that affects my overall health. You go online, you activate your test, and it's best to collect your sample in the morning. You return your sample using the prepaid shipping label that's provided. Once your sample arrives in the lab, confidential results will be available from your secure online account within two to five days. Once your results are available, they will be reviewed by a physician. A nurse will then contact you for a consultation over the phone. So if you guys are interested in your overall hormone health, Go and get the hormone advanced test or any other test from Let's Get Checked. Get tested at home, go down to the description box below, use my promo code, and you will get 20% off. Again, thank you to Let's Get Checked for sponsoring today's video. So do you want to give a quick tour what? of your your genius painting setup? Well, no, architectural judges. I didn't expect this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do a, a, a brief tour. Let me show you my bowl of lungs. <laughs> so uh, I made a couple of uh, easels yes. out of wood because we can afford easels, but we have a bunch of wood. With two cups of water, all of our uh, supplies up here, and then all of our uh, paint. Uh, down here and it's also a nice place to rest your mimosa over here we have our two palettes our paint palettes so i don't know watch out jeffree star <laughs> we're coming after you i don't think that's the type of palette that jeffree star puts out we'll see <laughs> what this is just so cute it's such a, a good way to spend uh sunday. quarantined sunday we're going back to work on. Ridiculous. What are you gonna be? What are you? Uh, what are you painting? Something really classy. <laughs> is, is it one? No, you'll see. I don't want to give it away. Okay. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Uh, should we make them match? If I mean you want to. What color? What colors are you doing? I'm I'm doing green and yellow mostly. You? Probably uh, something with a little bit more green, I guess, I'll, so that it ties together. Because this is going to be artwork for the dining room. Unless this sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Unless this sucks, and then we'll just, I guess, have to buy some. Okay, I'm about to apply. Artists are watching this. I know. They're like, that's not how you do it. You know who paints really well is um, Arden's boyfriend, Briar. Have you oh, seen? I saw his paintings. Have you seen his I paintings? Was jealous. Yeah, he does really good. It, it seems like he's like an emotional painter. So like, <laughs> yeah, like it's a, it's a like he said, Yeah, he sets it up and then he like puts on like I picture him like because he did he did a red one so um, I pictured him putting on some like screamo music, some Slipknot or something like that. Yeah, and going for it. I'm gonna do a nude. A nude? Can you get naked for me? I'm gonna do, I want to paint your butt cheeks. Okay. Yes. I don't have them. <laughs> okay, but we can't let people know who can get what. <laughs> <laughs> Unless yours comes out really well, then you're gonna be like. Then I'm, I might drop hints. I'm not gonna tell you which one's mine, but it's on the right. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Brittany painting her little flowers. Last time I did art was in high school. Did you take art in high school? Yeah. I, I don't know if you, I didn't know you guys did that. Doesn't everybody take art in high school? Yes, but you went to a, a really weird high school. I did. did you guys have yeah. an ISS? Yeah, we did. Did you? In school suspension. Oh, I knew that room. I've never been to it. Yeah, of course you have. I mean, there's many times where I'm like, hey, you know, I wish I could go back in the past or like, 
kind of take a step, a step back and like redo something, um, like getting hit by a car and you not know, have a normal leg, but then at the same time, like I wouldn't be where I'm at right now if that was the case. Um, but if I had to choose something, I would choose how I dealt with my cow loan. And if you don't know what a cow loan is, it's uh, the army gives a lot of uh, officers a, a career starter loan. But at West Point, they give you that loan a year before you actually start your career. And so, unfortunately, I spent a lot of it on stuff I, I shouldn't have, like uh, plane tickets and hotels and stuff like that. And then half of that I spent on my car. So I wish I would have actually like, put that away. Yeah. And invested it. So, I mean, that's just one little thing that I don't think would have affected much of anything else. Mm -hmm. I, I feel that. Uh, that um so when I was doing the cam stuff, I, I made a, a good bit of money on that. I can't complain with how much I was making, and it was a good a good percentage. Uh, and I look back on that, and I'm 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 just, I kick myself because I'm like, why didn't I put some of that away? You know, I guess you can't tell an 18 year old to start a savings account. And I, I mean, that's the thing, especially like. Especially when you're younger, and I'm not, I'm not going to say that it's not the same right now, yeah. um, but especially when you're younger, it's more about instant gratification yeah. um, than really seeing the the long-term effects of the decisions that you're making. Okay. And at, at the same time, I will say that a lot of you know my irresponsible spending led to a lot of excellent memories. Yeah. You know, there's no, it's, it's not all bad. Yeah, it's just. I mean, you just learn. Those are that's uh, and that goes along with just you know learning from your mistakes. Um, you learn from them. You you decide to do better. So question. Okay. And be honest. Be honest. Uh, which one is this? Do you ever, or have you ever, regretted getting married? Getting married? Mm -hmm. No. No, I would say no. Um, <laughs> it's not. It's not an easy no. I, I don't regret getting married, and I've never regretted getting married. But when we did first get married, there was a period of like two or three months, right when we moved in together, that I was kind of shitting myself, like, what the hell did I do? Um, I mean, that sounds really bad, and I'm not saying, like, because of you or anything. It was just that I had, up until that moment, and we didn't live together before we got married, so up until that moment, it had just been me, and I, I looked out for myself, did what I needed to do, and then all of a sudden, you know, my you whole... You were very solitary before that. Yeah, my whole way of life is, is turned around in that now I have this permanent roommate, <laughs> Instead of being conveniently on the phone, I was there in person. <laughs> yeah. um, no, it was just I, th I think I think I was a little bit shell shocked. So the entire the, the way my life changed so fast, it it kind of put me in a little bit of a funk for a couple months, and I was just like, oh my gosh, like did I do the right thing? Like I love this guy, he is my best friend, like everything's great, but. Um, what if it doesn't work out? Oh my gosh! Like how I, I I wouldn't be able to like emotionally handle if he like left me right now or something like I don't know. It was, it was a weird mind. Like it was I was in a really weird headspace. Let me tell you right now, and I think you already know this. I will never leave you. <laughs> like it's I, I, and we've had this discussion before. It's, yeah, you're my. I don't know, you're you're it for me. You're it. You're it for me. So, yeah, in summary, I, I, I don't regret ever getting married to you. Um, I regret some of the ways we went about things. Like, I do think we should have had a little bit more of a courting period. Because, I don't know, I feel like that dating that, that dating time where you're just boyfriends. We it's so it. It's so special and it's so, like, you have the butterflies all the time. And it does, like, anybody who says it doesn't change... When you get married, it does change a little bit. Um, we've gotten super comfortable with each other. Yeah. And we've kind of lost the romance a little bit. Um, in terms of, like, when we were boyfriends, we were trying to... And we were in, like, such heavy competition to outdo each other in terms of dates and stuff and like it, that. And it almost seems like to have boyfriends. It seems like more... <laughs> than, 
than husband. Exactly. And now, you know, our date nights are, we're not trying to compete with each other anymore. Now our date nights are like, well, before the coronavirus, we were, what movie were we going to see tonight? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, though, <laughs> you know, the cor coronavirus came here and saved America. <laughs> yeah, so that's something we should work on. But I, I, I think that if we kept that courting period going for a little bit longer, it had just been, you know, that much sweeter. But whether we got married after three months or three years 30 years we were always going to end up together i do i 100 percent believe that like you are you are it you're it are we holding hands <laughs> let's do a cheers to us to us to us and and you, you know what re-sparking we're, we're our getting romance. divorced and we're not boyfriends mm, boyfriends you heard it here we are divorced mm -hmm. clickbait we are getting divorced. <laughs> we are getting divorced. Everybody, everybody in the AZB family now refers to Alistair and Zach as boyfriends instead of husbands. Mm-hmm. 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 I know, for me, and this also might sound bad, but <laughs> I wanted to trap you as soon as possible. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, I wanted you to be mine legally. I, I mean, think... Like, not mine, but you know what I mean. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like we have a lot of fun together. I feel like I mean, if you're gonna spend life with anybody, spend it with your best friend. No, and I did, and I agree. I had because there's moments where like it's just us normal, and then there's moments where just like you do something very small, and I just suddenly have like a burst on my chest to be like, oh my gosh, this is just so right. This is just, <laughs> I can't believe how lucky I am. I, I remember tomorrow it was just a little thing like we were cleaning and you put on. The soundtrack of uh, Back to Notre Dame. <laughs> and I love that soundtrack, and I heard it. I was like, oh my gosh, it's the soundtrack. And you're like, I put it on for you because I know you love it. And it was I perfect. Liked, I liked when we were listening to the Anastasia soundtrack. And, um, um, Paris holds the key to your heart came on. Paris holds the key to your heart, or to her heart, however it goes. And that just made me smile and flutter a little bit inside for you. <laughs> <laughs> You're a lot of fun, baby. You're a lot of fun. What? I appreciate you. I appreciate living with you. And I'm glad we are life partners. I'm glad we are partners in life. Partners in gay. What? We're not gay. That's a homo central. Because you do that. Turn it out. She did not do anything to you, Brando. I was watching. She did nothing to him. So one of the big, okay, so y'all, what y'all just heard is Brando crying like somebody just beat the shit out of him. <laughs> he does this a lot when he's around Winifred and she won't touch him and he will just start screaming and he'll look over to us and expect us to get onto her. The first time, or the first couple times we did that, we got onto her We did, bad. We, we were and like, so now she looks like, she look, looks at us like all guilty, like she did something and she didn't do anything. Poor Winnie. He's a little shit. <laughs> All right, so we are here. We have finished our painting, and it is time for the great reveal of Alistair Paton. It's not very great, <laughs> but it is a reveal. Okay, well, go take us through your painting, baby. I was inspired by the drink I was drinking, <laughs> and therefore, I drew it. A mimosa. A mimosa. Okay. Would you like to walk us through your your artistic um, process? I like green, so I made the green in the background, and I, I figured the yellow would be a nice contrast. I thought I could do a pouring thing, it, it somehow worked. Okay. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's that's about it. Good job, baby. Thank you. And then this one, I would I, I would like to explain Zach's artistic. This is a fiery heart surrounded by pure Nephilim. green energy. That's what I, that, that is, was the concept all along. This will go for 54,000 US dollars. Concept to creation. And you will get a signed penis print. Ooh. You gotta make the 54,000 worth it. How nice, baby. We had a little painting day. It was, and it was a nice day to do it, honestly. Yeah. It's, it a, is, it, it's not hot, but it's sunny. It's, it's like, not windy. It's perfect. Yeah. And you know oh. what else is perfect? You. I shut the freak up.
You know what is my piece of art? Your butt. <laughs> <laughs>